Hello everyone, this is Impulse, and welcome back to the Moonlight server. And I'm just here at the uh, Wither Skelly farm that Grafoniac built, and this thing, this thing rocks, I, t I tell you. Um, I just cleared it out, and uh, I I've gotten a couple skulls, I just put them away. <laughs> I'm collecting some skulls, of course, could use some more beacons, I want to get like four beacons under uh, the floating island of Pandora, one way over there. Um, yeah, and I got one so far, and I do have, I think, four or five, five skulls collected just from hanging out here in the nether. Uh, I just finished up a nether project that I've been working on. I've been, I've been sick, I know, again, uh, the past couple days. It seems like I've been getting sick on a, like, a monthly basis lately, uh, which is just ridiculous. I'm so sick of it, but sick of, sick of being sick, basically. <laughs> Um, you know, it's probably just related to job stress and, and, you know, my odd sleeping pattern that, uh, I, I tend to <laughs> brag about, although I shouldn't and, uh, you know, things like that, but I'm starting to get better and, uh, I built a little something, something here while I was sick. I did want to record this build, you know, but being sick, uh, you guys wouldn't want to, to hear me. In fact, I'm still pretty congested. You can probably tell. Um, but I did do a little time lapse of this build, so I'll show you that in a second here. But I want to show you what this is. You probably already know from the title of the video, and can see through the glass there. Got a blaze spawner, got the blaze spinning around in there. Uh, got the lava going right now to keep this thing from spawning, so it's got a little on-off switch. Uh, this blaze farm is ent almost entirely in my design. Um, the only thing that uh, was designed by somebody else was the crusher system, and I'll show you that in a second. Um, but the rest of it is entirely my design. been working on it for a couple months now, actually. And finally got to a point that uh, I'm pretty happy with it. And, uh, you know, you'll probably get a chance to see the inner workings of it a little better in the time lapse. But let me come in here and show you how it works here. So I've got a couple switches on the wall. The first one is the on-off switch. This is for the lava. Um, we're actually going to change this up a little bit a little uh, later on in the episode. So for right now, it's just on-off. Lava will clear pretty quick. Uh, another lava is nice and fast. You can see them already spawning. And then the second piece here is this crusher system. Now, this is crusher system is really cool. This is something that was designed by a guy named Okta, I believe is how you pronounce it. And basically, with this thing on, as the blaze kind of fall through this tube, it crushes them down to one heart, and then they just all end up kind of collecting in here with the one-hit kill kind of thing going on. So let me turn that on. It'll take a second to uh, get the redstone going. And you can hear the pistons going. That's not from the crusher. That's from all the blaze being pushed down the funnel. And so there you go. See, it caught them, and it's crushing them down. And so all those guys should be a one-hit kill. Weird thing is, so we're on the... Uh, we're on the snapshots right now, 14W20B, actually this one just came out today. Um, so the, the blaze act a little funny, they kind of glitch through, uh, and I think that's just ever since 1.8 snapshots, they've been kind of, the mobs have been kind of glitching through blocks again like they used to a long time ago. Um, so every once in a while it can cause some oddities, I'm kind of hoping that gets fixed. But uh, the reason why I kind of felt like this was the time to build this blaze farm here on the server is also in the latest snapshots, Endermen no longer chase after Endermites. So uh, we needed a better, or not a better, but uh, a new XP farm, at least until we get the Enderman farm working the way it should be. There we go. So I got a hopper underneath the soul sand here, so all the rods are going into there. One kind of, I don't know if I got that from, from fighting up the stairs or not, but um, anyway. So yeah, you can see this thing just continually, and basically what it does is you can just stand here, you know, for half an hour or however long your your computer can handle, you know, all the, the lag that's going to be uh, happening from multiple blaze in this chamber, and then come back and, and they're all just one hit kill, which is really, really cool. Grab the blaze rods, put them away, keep them, whatever you want to do. And yeah, it just keeps happening. Um, they just keep coming down, keep getting crushed, and they'll build up in there. Um, so anyway, uh, let me go into the time lapse so you guys can see how I built this, and then I'll explain what we're gonna do uh, with changing this on-off switch. So check it out. <laughs>
that's that that was uh that was fun to build it, it actually didn't take me too long it was just the most annoying thing was when you know you start chipping away the blocks around the spawner and the blaze starts spawning and they basically you know they're trying to attack you while you're trying to finish the build so i think if i was to do one thing different i'd probably get the lava in first and then then build it instead of doing the the block thing and then have to chip away at the end but anyway um like I said, I want to do something different with this. And one of the problems with a lot of these Blaze Farm designs are that, you know, you're, you're supposed to AFK, right? It takes a while for the Blaze to spawn and collect, and, and you don't want to sit here and just punch them as they come down. I mean, you basically be spending, you know, a lot of time to get to, to level 30. Um, so a lot of people will just, you know, stand here and they'll AFK. They'll, they'll go away from their keyboard. They'll go have lunch um, or, or whatever. And then they come back, and if they came back, you know, within 30 minutes or so, no big deal. But um, if you've ever made this mistake, um, like I have in a single-player world of mine, uh, where you, you, you leave yourself AFK, and then you totally just forget. You, you forget that you're even in the game, uh, or that you left yourself there, and you come back, and it's been like hours, or even overnight, and basically you're down to you know you hit f3 and you're down to zero frames per second i'm at 70 right now um you, you get down to like zero frames per second you can't even move you can't you can't swing at the blaze to kill them um basically you've pretty much killed your world <laughs> um you, you have to switch into peaceful and yeah <laughs> it's it's not a good thing so to have a solution for that uh, or what I've done is I've come up with a solution for that and basically um, we're gonna change this to spawner on off to AFK timer on off and what that's gonna do is when you decide you want to AFK you flip the switch and it will start a big clock system and after you know X amount of time and that's what's nice about it is you can actually set you know how much time you want it to run for um, it will you know basically turn itself off after a certain amount of time passes by. So in order to do that, we'll go around the back here and get a little bit of redstone going. Um, it's not too, too complicated of the redstone. Uh, I just need to figure out where. Okay, so there is my, uh, basically the output. So the lever's right behind that. And we're gonna be changing up a few things here. And I think I can go with just dust right there. And that's going to see right now I just have this line hooked up to it was just basically coming around the back to a torch tower and we're going to get blade spotted now because I turned it off. Um, so basically that on off switch is just going through here up this torch tower all the way to the top and uh, you can kind of see how this thing works here with these pistons pushing can you know right now there's nowhere for him to go because that crushing chamber is closed so we'll get this thing in fact what I'll do is just so that this is constantly not spawning blaze while we're trying to work here I'll turn it off and I'll just have to remember to put that torch back let me go take care of that blaze real quick so we're not listening to him whine about being trapped this entire time we'll turn that on 
Yeah, yeah, quiet you. Just one? Just one of you? Oh, a little guy causing all that big noise. <laughs> this thing's great. This crusher system's really cool. I like it. Every once in a while you get one sneaky blaze that kind of falls through it and just misses the timings of it, but uh, it's it's pretty consistent. It's pretty good. All right, so we'll turn that crusher back off. Oh, whoa, hey. Lava went away again. Why? Why? What happened? Let me go see. What did I do? I did something wrong. Did I take away the wrong torch? The lava is not out. Oh, here we go. <laughs> take one for the team to protect the redstone there. Yeah, that's the other problem with building blaze farms. You got to deal with gas the whole time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, who's? <laughs> I was hoping that'd go away. All right, let's try this again. I'll just break that line there. I think I had it backwards. We'll do that. Now lava. Now lava. Okay. There. Oh, now it should be off. Until we get the timer done. All right, let's go clear this thing out. How many in there this time? We got, we got a few in there. See if we can get them into the chamber here. They should be all sitting in a little glass tube um, that's just above the, the crusher system. You can kind of see that. So they all fall in together. And the other cool thing is they don't ever get hurt on their way down. A lot of the other uh, blaze systems, the piston pushers will actually hurt a few blades here and there. Uh, the one that I've designed here does not. They all have equal damage values coming into that crusher chamber. Oop. I don't want the crusher going the whole time. Man. Struggling. <laughs> work, brain, work. All right. Hopefully it will work for this part. Okay, so we're going to basically take that signal now, and what we need to do is we're going to use it for a couple things. Um, one, we're going to use it to power that block, and then there'll be a hopper on the other side of this. So let me grab that. And by doing that, it's going to basically stop the, the hopper from putting items back into this dropper here. So let's see here. Um, if an item gets put into this hopper, you see here it doesn't drain. So as long as the AFK timer is on, is that right? On? Is that where we left it? Yeah, we left it on. See how the switch is down? That will be on. And then the items in this hopper won't drain back into the dropper. And that's going to be part of the timer system. Um, so we also need to do a uh, off switch for the timer system right here. We'll basically invert the signal. Oh, we need a little more space underneath this. Didn't, did not see that nether rack there. All right. And then we'll run a little bit of redstone over. Um, just grab that signal there, and we'll run it into air repeat. Whoa! <laughs> Seems to be the problem, little guy. What'd you do to him? <laughs> that was <laughs> that was odd. Uh, love snapshots. They're uh, pretty funny sometimes. All right, so we'll put a repeater there. That's going to run into... We'll keep these blocks on me here into that right there and then next to this we're going to put a little etho hopper timer which i'm sure most of you are familiar with is it's used in uh just about everything that's invented these days it seems like so i think it's one two and of course by now i should know exactly how to build it and we'll do, oh no seriously can be breaking my redstone where you at fool where you at fool <laughs> fail, fail, fail. Okay, here we go. No. Quit it. Ah. Where are you going, man? It's like farther away than I thought. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. I think I'm better at returning their, their uh, gas balls than I am at actually hitting them with arrows. <laughs> uh, so here we go. You place two hoppers facing into each other like that. And I'm not going to need this line anymore just yet and this will be our our main timer you go comparator coming out of that and that and that and every time basically the timer uh, goes back and forth 
it's going to power did I get that right? Yeah. Redstone right there. Oop. Gotta get under that. There we go. And redstone right there into a block. So that's your basic hopper timer. And every time, basically, uh, this comparator goes off and comes back on, it's going to power that block, power that dropper, and it's going to put items into that hopper. So we'll just put four of them in there for now. Um, actually, I think I'll end up putting about 10 in there, I think I want, total. Uh, so we'll do, go ahead and get that done. And then in these, just for demonstration, I'll just throw a couple items in there, and we'll see. You can kind of see. Let me take some out so this goes a little quicker. And you can see there's nine in there, so it already fired one. And eight now because it fired again. So it'll go back, and then when, as soon as it comes back to the other side, it'll fire another one. Uh, so you'll see it go back. Still eight. And as soon as it comes back the other way, which should be in just a second here, yeah, my way, Pigman. I'm trying to demonstrate. There's seven. So those are getting held up into this hopper, which is exactly what we want. Um, and basically, as soon as this dropper gets emptied, um, we are going to take that signal, and that's what's going to turn off the lava. So we'll take the comparator out of that, and I think it's safe to place a block there. Yes, it is. And then this will be our... We've got to invert that signal, and then I think we can just run a line like so. So that should do it. Um, do we have to invert it again? Maybe we didn't need to invert that signal, huh? Because it's off, and we don't want it to be... Yeah, we don't want to invert that signal. We want to keep it just like that. So a little change up, little change up. Should be able to go like that. There you go. And that signal's not going to make it all the way, so we need to put a repeater, right? Can I get to it? Can I get to it? Oh, tight squeeze. Tight squeeze. That's a good sign. If you can't walk around your redstone, that's, you know, fairly compact, I guess. <laughs> all right. Oh, no, I did need redstone right there. Uh, might be a better way to do this here. Let's see. Want the redstone right there, and then we got to take, then we got to take that signal and boost it a little bit with the repeater. So let's do that. Uh, we do it right here. Kind of is gonna stretch out the signal a bit, which I don't like. Let's see where we're at on this. Let's see where we're at. So this dropper is not empty. In fact. Yeah, because what we want, yeah, I was right the first time. What we want is when it's empty, that's going to turn off, which will turn the signal on, and that's what we want. So I was right with the torch. I was right. I just, you know, forgot what I was doing. Typical. I think we go like that. And now, as soon as that gets completely emptied, then we can take away this torch here. Take away this torch. Hmm. Now I feel like I'm backwards again. Because it just turned off the lava. So yeah, I think I I think I did I did mess that back up, didn't I? Oop. Yeah, you hear him spawning. So yeah, we want to go the other way. But you can see the comparator's off, and then we will uh, just take that signal basically and boost it. Let's see that all correct yeah that all looks good so we'll just go ahead and when that signals off let's see because you're not gonna have any signal there um, we would need to boost it and that's fine I'll just wrap it around I'll just wrap it around real quick no biggie Now it's on. See that? And so as soon as there's items in the hopper, uh, that will, or in the dropper, that will go ahead and turn that back off. Okay, okay. We're back on track. Back on track. Let's go test it out. Okay. Turn that uh, off so the AFK timer is off, which means it should just be, yeah, clearing up there, running as normal. So now it's basically just a normal normal blaze farm and we'll bring these guys through 
Let them get crushed. And we'll go back out here and see what happened to the items in the dropper. To do kind of all over the place right now, but uh, we'll get it. We'll get it. All right. So you can see the ten items are back in the dropper. Um, that's because when we turn that off, basically uh, turn off the AFK timer. That redstone's no longer powering this block, which is no longer stopping that hopper from keeping the items. So they all get to flow back. So that kind of resets the timer. Um, and then the other thing is, you know, don't want this this uh, this clock going the whole time. So that's why we ran this line here, and so that keeps the clock from running because um, it's powering this block, which holds that piston out, which keeps this dropper or hopper from uh, transferred items back, so they all get stuck in there. And so I think it's a uh, about four minutes and 20 seconds, or that's uh, four minutes and something um, for each, if, if you load these up, item hoppers. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, but um, what I'm going for is, is I know that my computer can handle about uh, 40 minutes worth of Blaze collection. I think it gets to about 150 entities, and I'm pretty sure most of the other server members have that as well. Um, probably won't load it up completely, so we'll keep it at about two minutes, two and a half minutes maybe if I if I put about a half just over half maybe three stacks of items in here um, probably should do the math but uh, we'll figure it out there and then so times 10 is what this is gonna do so we'll put about two and a half minutes times 10 that'll get us what 20 minutes of, of blaze collection just about uh, so that should suffice for everybody should be enough to get to level 30 I would think let me just grab a couple stacks here We'll do some. I'll do some testing too once it's done, of course, and adjust the clock as needed for the uh, for my server mates. Ask them how 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 their computers hold up against a uh, number of Blaze entities in there. So okay, there we go. Three stacks in there should be about just two and a half minutes or so um, per cycle uh, times ten because I got ten pieces of Nether rack in this dropper. And oh, they're getting crushed. Automatically getting crushed. I love that sound. That's great. Yeah, look at how many are in here. And I was I wasn't even uh, activating the spawner thing for the most part. So clear these guys out real quick. And for those of you who don't know, uh, Blaze actually drop double the amount of XP when you kill them as normal mobs. So all right, I'll have to change that sign here shortly. But let's go ahead and turn the AFK timer around. So. Imagine, you know, you're you're wanting AFK, you'd flip that switch, you'd go have your lunch or whatever, and you wouldn't even have to worry because you know that by the time you get back, um, you know, within, what did I say, about 20 minutes, that this thing's going to turn itself off and you, your blaze will just be waiting for you. So let's go take a look, make sure the clock's running, make sure everything's in order. And you see that uh, turned off so this clock can run now because that's not being powered. This block is now being powered, so the item should be getting stopped in the, the dropper or hopper right there. Um, so these are transferring back and forth, and yeah, looks like it's working perfect here. So as soon as that gets completely emptied, as the time runs out, uh, we'll depower that comparator, which will basically uh, depower this whole line here. And uh, I guess I could have changed this up. To still use a torch, but uh, and then take one out, but that's okay. And yeah, and then it will flip, kind of invert that signal, which will allow the lava to come out. So should be just about perfect. So I'm gonna hang out here and just kind of time how long it takes. Or I'll go, actually, I'll go check out the the timing on that that hopper timer real quick, just so you guys don't have to look it up for me. So I uh, will be right back. All right, guys, so I went ahead and looked it up. The uh, Etho Hopper Timer is actually, for every item you put in those those uh, hoppers, it will add 0.7 seconds to uh, of delay on the timer. So if you were to do five stacks of 64 items, which is the most you could get in there, you get three minutes and 44 seconds. That's what I calculated. So I put in three stacks of 64. That'll give me about two minutes and 14 seconds. And since we're adding the multiplier in the, of those items in the dropper, which was 10, uh, gives you about 20 minutes. Uh, 20 minutes of AFK time. So I've been sitting here about five minutes so far. And if you look in the top left-hand corner, you can see an E colon 39. So just in five minutes, I've got almost 40 blaze sitting in this chamber. 
So, you know, times that by, you know, four, and you're gonna be at about 160 entities, which is a pretty good amount. I mean, once you start getting anything more than that, I mean, you can already see my frames are dropping uh, down to 40, just drop down to there's pistons going off, which is why it's kind of dropping down. Um, but when those pistons aren't going off, I'm hovering around 50 already. And uh, yeah, you know, you start getting any lower than that, it becomes hard to even move and, and things like that. So I think the timer hopefully will work for everybody. I'll have the other guys on the server come test it. Of course, I want to show them how it works. I'm pretty excited about this farm. So I think I'll, uh, I'll probably be doing a tutorial on this unless any kind of big issues come up when I have the other guys test. Uh, this thing seems fairly stable. I've done some testing myself. And uh, like I said, I think it's, it's one of the best blaze farms out there, especially with uh, you know, the fact that it's, it's actually, I didn't mention it, it's actually using a 9 by 9 space around the spawner, um, so you get max efficiency on the spawns, and with the auto crushing system, the AFK timer, uh, I think this is one of the most feature rich blaze farms out there, um, and it's really not too hard to build, doesn't take too many materials, so I'll probably be doing a tutorial on this fairly soon, so be on the lookout for that. Um, and guys, the episode's starting to get pretty long, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to hit that like button. And uh, if you're not a subscriber and you happen to come across this video, make sure you hit subscribe before you go. And like I said, keep an eye out for a tutorial on this, because I definitely plan on doing one. So I will see you guys again next time. Take it easy.